All right, so if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering, how do I get better quality sound out of my Bluetooth headphones? Especially if you have a pair of Bluetooth 5 headphones, uh, like the Audio Technicas that I just got. Uh, if you're coming here from that video, thanks, give me a like and subscribe to this channel if you want more of these videos. Uh, what I'm going to do real quick here is show you how you can get the best sound out of your wireless headphones. And it's really easy on a Macintosh computer. There are similar steps for Windows, um, but I won't be covering that in this video because I only have a Macintosh right now. So the first step you're going to do is you're going to go to your web browser. You're gonna to go to developer.apple.com slash download slash more. And these are basically a set of extra tools that developers use to help configure things on their computer when they're trying to create software. Um, and in our case, it's gonna give us extra control over uh, our Bluetooth settings. So what you're gonna do is on the left, search for additional tools. And at the time of this video, the latest version was additional tools for Xcode 10.1. Uh, that was released October 30th, 2018. If you're watching this in the future, six months, a year, two years from now, just download whichever is the most recent. You're gonna download that DMG file and then you're gonna unpack it. And from here, we're gonna to go to hardware and bluetoothexplorer.app. Now it's gonna give you this thing about, uh, do you wanna open this application? You downloaded it from the internet. Uh, you download it from developer.apple.com, uh, which of course certs can be faked, but in this case it's legitimate. We're gonna go ahead and open. Now, for some reason, this opens up in the background, but you can see here it is actually running. So what you're gonna do is open up Bluetooth Explorer. You're gonna to go to tools, audio options, and now I already had this checked from before, but typically your computer will not have force use of APTX checked. You wanna make sure that that's checked because APTX will give you the highest quality audio stream uh, for your computer. So once you have that checked, just make sure that it's checked, close it, and then you can close out of Bluetooth Explorer and everything else. Take your Bluetooth headphones. Try not to drop them all over the place. And turn them on. They will connect to your computer. So let's see. Now, once they're connected and you go to highlight it, you're not really gonna see anything here, so you're not really sure if it worked or not. What you can do is hold down the option key on your keyboard, click the Bluetooth icon, and then you'll see you have all this extra information here, the Bluetooth address, the version, uh, all this great stuff. And if you go to the headphones, you'll now see a couple of other things, including the signal strength, the active codec, uh, and the address. Now, we don't have any music playing right now, so it says not active. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play some music. Uh, let's pick something from here. And let's see. And there you can see APTX has been selected. Now, if you don't see that APTX has been selected, that means that you may have uh, mischecked the box. You may not have saved the settings before closing Bluetooth. Uh, sorry, what was the name of it? <laughs> This is ridiculous. I can't believe this doesn't come with your computer. Bluetooth Explorer. Uh, and you can just reopen it and try again. Maybe restart your computer if it's still not working. If you're still having problems, leave me a comment down below. I want to know. Um, I think this is pretty simple. And if not, I want to make sure that I give you guys the best instructions. But that should be pretty much it. If you like it, uh, great. If not, you can always switch it back to use AAC or one of the other lossier formats. If you like this video, give me a like. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.